Hello everyone. In the statistical thermodynamics chapter, the next topic is the barometric distribution law. Here, the pressure as a function of altitude would be determined. So, in this regard, we have to take a cylindrical atmospheric column which consists ideal gas. So, this is some assumption that the gases are considered to be ideal. Okay. This cylindrical column has the cross section area capital A and the pressure at altitude 0 that means at the ground level is P0 and if we go up at Z height that means the altitude is Z then its pressure becomes P and if we take a thin disc with width or uh, thickness DZ then at the upper part of this thin disc the pressure becomes P plus TP. So the pressure difference at this point and this point is dp and the difference in altitude at this point and this point is dz so the um, disc has a center of gravity this is the point and on this point two force vectors are working and at equilibrium these two force vectors are equal okay so let's try to find out on which factors do they depend upon F up is due to pressure P. Obviously, it has some pressure okay, in the upward direction. And F down is due to two factors. One is mass of the thin disc. Definitely, it has mass towards the downward direction. And also, in the downward direction, the pressure is P plus dP. Isn't it? So, the pressure in the upward direction is P, while the pressure in the downward direction is P plus dP. Okay. So, F down is responsible for two factors one is due to the mass of the thin disc another is due to the pressure uh, from the upward direction to downward direction so both these factors have to be converted into the dimension of force and this factor also have to be converted into the dimension of force and these two forces have to be equa equated uh, in the condition of equilibrium okay so if up if pressure is p in the upward direction and a is the cross section area then their product is definitely F up the upward force and uh, the downward force must be pressure into cross section area again so P plus dp into A while G into dm okay dm is the mask of the thin disc and if it is multiplied with the gravitational acceleration then definitely it gets the dimension of force you know all about this so G mass into gravitational acceleration mg mg has the dimension of force for any substance so this is the form of mg dm is playing the role of m and here is g as usual so this is written in the reverse order g into dm okay so at equilibrium these two are equal so at equilibrium those these two have been equated therefore at equilibrium the right hand sides of these two expressions are equated so pa equals to p plus dp into a plus g into dm and pa into pa PA here in the left hand side and PA here in the right hand side are cancelled and uh, finally after rearranging this equation we get the expression dp equals to minus g by a into dm this is equation number one okay so we can easily convert this into this okay now what is the volume of the thin disc definitely if dz is the thickness of the disc and a is the surface area or the cross section area then area into height or thickness is the volume of the disc so the volume of the disc is a into dz okay the number of moles within the disc what is the number of moles of the gas particles within the disc it is n and s n is definitely uh, the overall mass of the gas the overall mass of the gas divided by the molar mass isn't it definitely if you have suppose uh, you, you are given 64 gram of oxygen okay so what is the number of moles within the thin disc 2 moles how now 64 by 32 okay so uh, this expression is also known to all of you now we have the mass of the gas is dm and the molar mass have to be assumed as capital m okay so dm by m is the expression for the number of moles within the disc which is written as n okay so n has the expression dm by capital m now for ideal gas what is the gas expression ideal gas expression now it is pv equals to nrt okay now adz is the 
actually volume so in place of v volume we can insert a dz that means v can be replaced by a into dz we have find, found out the volume okay and in place of number of moles n's we can replace this n by d small m by capital m that means dm so a dz in place of v and dm by capital m in place of number of moles n okay so this uh, changed uh, form of this equation is here appearing here so p into instead of v you, you are writing here a into dz and here instead of n you have written dm by capital m into rt as usual so what is the expression of dm after rearranging we get the expression of dm as p capital m into a over rt into dz now time to do integration but before doing the integration we have to put the value of dm in equation 1 what was the expression of equation 1 now the expression of equation 1 was dp equals to g by a into dm now we have got the value of dm and the value of dm is minus pma by rt into dz so this value is put here in this expression of dp and if this p is taken to the left hand side then it will go to the denominator of dp and then you will get the expression of the left hand side as dp by p now what is left in the right hand side now the parameters which are left in the right hand side are minus mg by rt into dz so this way you get equation number two now you have to integrate both sides by giving proper limits now the lower limit of p was p0 at the ground level and upper limit of p was p at z altitude so the limit of altitude z should be 0 to z 0 is the lower limit of altitude and z is the upper limit of altitude and here in uh, throughout this operation t is always assumed to be constant that is why t is taken out of this integration sign so what is the result of the integration now the result of the integration is ln p by p0 equal to minus mg z by rt and then uh, taking uh, thus eliminating this logarithmic term uh, in the right hand side you will get this overall thing to the in the exponential power form and then finally this p0 when taken to the right hand side then it becomes p equals to p0 exponential minus mgz by rt and this is equation 3 and this is known as the barometric distribution law but this is one of the forms of the distribution law but we have another two forms of the distribution law in terms of rho and number density density and number density so how you get the relationship between uh, rho and p now the relationship is pv equals to nrt we all know that now n is the number of moles so how would get the number of moles now w by capital m w is the weight of the substance m is the molar mass of the substance now w if w is the molar mass of the substance uh, weight of the substance then the, when this v goes to the right hand side then w by v is the density of that gas so in place of density we have written here rho so the expression of p and rho p in, in, in terms of rho is p equals to rho rt by capital m so simple if temperature is kept constant then r constant t constant m constant then p values as rho that means p1 by p2 equal to rho 1 by rho 2 or simply p by p0 equals to rho by rho 0 so we can put this value here okay in equation 3 and we get the relationship like instead of p by p0 we have put rho by rho 0 so you get the relationship rho equals to rho 0 into exponential minus fgz by rt this is equation 4 is the second form of the barometric distribution law and the third form third form is in the terms of number of particles per unit volume that is number density okay simply pv equals to nrt so n means what n means number of moles number of moles means how many particles or how many molecules then multiply by n0 okay so this uh, multiplication is done by n0 and then this volume is taken to the right hand side so um, if you multiply the numerator by n0 then you have to multiply the denominator also by n0 that is why this n0 is appearing in the denominator so here you get just number of particles and he, this v when it comes to the denominator then number of particles per unit volume this is actually n, n prime or known as the number density okay so the relationship between p and n prime is p equals to n prime rt over n0 okay if 
t is taken to be constant then r constant t constant n zero constant that means p values is n prime okay that means p1 by p2 equal to n prime 1 by n prime 2 or simply p by p0 equals to n prime by n prime 0 so uh, if this ratio this is the ratio then in terms of this we can change this equals to n prime 0 exponential minus mgz by rt okay this is equation number 5 so equation 3 4 and 5 these three are the equations and known as the barometric distribution law so that's all for this lecture thank you have a nice day